And when I kind of, um, you know, gave it off to him, I think he was surprised because he was not, he's not used to anyone, let alone a woman, giving it off to you, right? It's mainly women. I, I've never seen the shows, but I know a lot of women. But it's really like, once again, um, I can only talk of my own experience uh, and I would choose not to talk about someone else's experience, right? And my own experience uh, on that show were, were really like, I, I was just like, wow, I can't, I really can't believe that this is happening. And when I kind of, um, you know, gave it off to him, I think he was surprised because he was not, he's not used to anyone, let alone a woman, giving it off to you, right? And um, a few weeks later when I met him in the show, he actually came and told me, I have forgiven you. And I looked at him and I said, for what? And he said, for talking to me like that. And I was like, oh, I was not asking for your forgiveness. Right there, it just shows you, wow, the fact that you have to tell me that you forgive me just shows your authority, right? Yeah, you're a man and as a man, I'm just that silly woman that he has forgiven. That put it all in perspective for me. meet so many new people on such an intimate level on a daily basis and their lives the way they live it they'll just come and drop a pool of wisdom and you're like i never knew that so i don't think you know this word achiever puts a lot of burden actually i don't consider myself as an achiever i feel like i'm doing what i love to do and in that passion if i have come somewhere then so be it i'm i'm lucky but the goal is you learn something new, not just from achievers, just if you look around. I mean, I say that I, everything I need to know about life, I have learned from my cat. And if you ask me, are they achievers? I think they're the, the master. I mean, uh, look at them. <laughs> the Zen that they live in is something we as humans would probably never agree. And this is uh, one analogy I say all the time. It's like... Um, you know, it's like if you, if you, the difference between uh, a dog and a cat, it's like a dog will, will take a dump and then will run around around the dump and announce it to the world, look at me, look at me, I just took a dump, I just took a dump. A cat, on the other hand, will take a shit, cover it up, nobody needs to know and move on with their lives. I choose to be the cat. I feel that when you set out to preach, it never really works. I think I never set out to preach. Uh, my goal is just to be myself. And if others get inspired by watching that, then so be it. I get really inspired by watching women who are just complete warriors in their everyday life um, without preaching. They don't need to go and tell you become a warrior. They don't need to tell you um, so that is my job. My job is not to tell you how to live your life, but my job is to live my life honestly. And in that, if that inspires you, then that's fantastic. But I think a lot of us, um, just to live your life honestly, I think it's the most difficult thing to do because we are so burdened by what is expected of you, not just as a woman, as just a human. Uh, what is expected of you and how life should be led and how at a particular time we have a timetable of life that everybody needs to fulfill and somehow if you skip one lecture it's all of a sudden everybody becomes mothers and they are a teacher and they're like what do you mean you didn't go to that lecture how can you skip that lecture and how were you not there in life you know so i feel um, at some point you need to make those decisions for yourself and realize that really what someone else thinks really does not matter so yeah